Hello traders and welcome back to another video. As a forex trader, it is important to have a solid understanding of risk reward ratios and how they can impact your trading strategy. In this video, we will explore the topic of risk reward and debunk some of the myths that have been perpetuated on social media. One of the biggest misconceptions about risk reward is the idea that you can make a 1 to 40 or even a 1 to 100 risk reward trade. This is simply not true and any trader who promotes this kind of strategy should not be trusted. These trades are based on unrealistic expectations and are more akin to gambling than actual trading. Furthermore, entering a trade with a 2 pip stop loss is also a risky strategy that is based more on luck than skill. It is impossible to accurately predict market movements to the point where a 2 pip stop loss is feasible. Traders who claim to be able to do this are likely exaggerating their abilities or simply lying. Instead, as a forex trader, it is important to focus on developing a solid trading strategy that incorporates realistic risk-reward ratios. This means identifying trades that have a high probability of success while keeping your risk exposure at a reasonable level. By focusing on realistic risk-reward ratios, you can improve your chances of success and avoid the pitfalls of unrealistic expectations. As a professional forex trader, it's important to consider all aspects of trading, including the difference between the inputted risk reward and the real result when trading on a live account. While it's easy to calculate the risk reward ratio before entering a trade, the reality is that the actual risk reward can differ due to commissions and spreads charged by the broker. Let's take a real example to illustrate the difference in actual risk reward. We're using the MT4 platform and trading the GBP JPY currency pair. We enter a trade with a tight stop loss of 4 pips and a take profit level of 40 pips, giving us a 1 to 10 risk reward ratio. However, when the trade is executed, the actual risk reward will be lower due to the commission charged by the broker. For instance, Let's say we're using a broker that charges $6 commission per lot and we have an account size of $10,000. We're willing to risk 1% of our account, which is $100. When we factor in the commission in our calculation, the risk-reward ratio shifts from 10 to 7. Therefore, it's crucial to factor in the commission and spreads charged by the broker when calculating risk-reward ratios as it can significantly impact the actual result of the trade. Choosing a broker with lower commissions and spreads can help maximize profits and minimize losses in the long run. The difference continues to be more extreme if we reduce the stop loss even more, to 2 pips. By using the same calculation on 10 grant account, keeping the risk percentage the same. We can see that the initial risk reward in paper, which is 1 to 10, will be reduced to 5.5 when the trade is executed. The stop loss and take profit are the same. We should keep in consideration the broker commissions. So, don't be deluded by gurus on social media that pretend these crazy risk reward trades. The reality is way more different, and you should know about it. So, use a reasonable stop loss. Don't be greedy by tightening to 2 to 3 pips because most of the gains will go to commission and not in your pocket. About high risk reward trades beyond 1 to 10. Holding onto a high risk reward trade can be challenging as the uncertainty of the market can lead to anxiety and stress. Additionally, frequent losing streaks can significantly impact a trader's confidence and lead to a vicious cycle of losing. It is important to find a balance between risk and reward and focus on developing a solid trading strategy that is sustainable in the long run. This means identifying trades with realistic risk-reward ratios and setting reasonable stop-loss and take-profit levels. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found it informative and helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you again for tuning in and we'll see you in our next video.